I've got to hand it to Suri. Um, she is becoming an amazing ambassador for our country, I think. Mm. Um, she's, you know, a brilliant singer. She can, as, as she showed when um, she stepped in in Mercy, she can interpret anything, really, I think. And um, I'm in two minds about this song, because li live, she really brings it, and I, it, she, I love the song live. Um, I dance along to it, and she really sells it. The studio version, I think, is a bit boring, dare I say. Um, so I really don't know how this is going to go. Um, I know everyone's being a kind of um, doom teller and say, oh, the UK is going to finish near the bottom again. I don't know. I, I hope not. I could I you know I can make I can understand either way, but I've got my fingers crossed for Suri because she's she's great and she deserves she deserves better I think. Yeah, I totally agree with you. Like, I don't think we could have asked for a better ambassador. Like, she is like so funny and she loves the contest and you know it's just like like oh my god, she's so amazing. I w I wish I was coming to Lisbon so I could meet her and we can oh. be pals together and all that kind of stuff. But um, you know, I oh sorry, uh, but yeah, I agree with you. Like. The song is just so so so. Like the lyrics are kind of cheesy, and I'm not really a fan of them. And like this new revamp version, like there's, I find this like so many unnecessary overdubs that it gets kind of messy at points. And yeah, I just, well, I just wish that uh, she'd gotten a better song to um, perform. But um, oh well, um. Ricky, what do you think, uh, being the only one here that um, has no UK connection? Are you sure about that? My dad was born in Scotland. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but um, I have to feel like this could be a point in time where I could say something really controversial about the British entry, and that is that I think it's actually a good song. Oh, okay. Um, I think that in terms of, like, being a song that you could hear on the radio, um, this is, like, the same kind of France. I, yeah, I just kind of like it. I'm starting to get this feeling that in Eurovision, it's becoming more commonplace to send a song that sounds better live than it does in the studio. Um, mm. I feel like this trend really set off with, um, well, Sound of Silence, um, where, you know, you get the studio version and you're like, okay, that's okay. And then you get this live performance that blows expectations out of the water. So I do think that this has a good chance of again, as I said for Germany, getting out of the bottom five, which right now seems to be the British goal to just have a stretch of years where you are not in the bottom five. Mm. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> look, as much as I would like to say that this is going to do better than Lucy did last year, I don't want to say that about Lucy. <laughs> oh. Um... um like, Lucy's song deserved better, in my opinion. And, oh, but, thank you. So if Suri did better, then that would be disappointing, but I wouldn't be bitter about it. Because I think in my ranking right now, this is my 15th. So it is one of those songs that I am listening to. Um, 
And I don't think Suri's ever had a performance where she's been off. Um, which is one of those double-edged sword things to say, because now that I've said that, I'm scared that I've cursed her. Oh, um, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay. You guys have someone to blame now if she comes, like, second last. <laughs> um, but I do think that... <laughs> noted, okay. Um, <laughs> I <laughs> I feel like the bridge is one of the most powerful moments of the song. And so it's an easy choice to say, make that your recap point. Hmm. So... so um, just my final point, like, as long as this song is given, like, the air to breathe within the running order and kept away from huge, huge favourites, um, such as Israel, um, then the British flag could be waved proudly throughout the arena. Oh, fingers crossed. Okay, so anything else before we give this a score? Just that all I can think of with this song now is the version on Twitter that's entitled Storm, but every time she says the word storm, it gets faster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of that, last year I I saw like a video, one of those videos with um, Lithuania's song, like every time she went, yeah, yeah, like it, something weird video effect happened and it, it was so oh, funny. <laughs> That was amazing. Oh god. One of one of my like close fandom friends has made so many of those for just Nathan Trent's running on air alone. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need to see those. Oh, this sounds amazing. <laughs> I, I will totally share the link. Yay! In text. <laughs> okay, so um Um so shall we go on with the scores then? <laughs> Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. So, okay, so I'm gonna give this a two. Um, I'll give this a three. I'll give this a four. Oh. Oh. Okay. And the public, give it a three out of five. 